Good morning children. In the last class, we have studied about the neutralization reaction. In today's class, we will discuss about neutralization reaction in everyday life. In which field we will come across this neutralization reaction? Huh? In everyday life, we will come across neutralization reaction. What are those neutralization reactions in everyday life that we have to discuss in today's class? First of all, a neutralization reaction that is uh, takes place in our body. That is, that causes a uh, indigestion. That means, what happened? Our stomach uh, secretes HCl, you know, hydrochloric acid that is secreted by the wa inner walls of the stomach. Inner walls of the stomach secretes a uh, hydrochloric acid. When this acidic content becomes more in stomach, it causes indigestion. Uh, that's why you have to take the food time to time. That food will neutralize the acid content present in the uh, stomach. What happens? Our stomach contains hydrochloric acid. It helps to digest the food. Too much acid in stomach causes indigestion. Indigestion means what? Food will not be digested properly. Uh, food is not digested properly. That is called as indigestion. Sometimes this indigestion is painful, very painful. It causes some of the problems uh, related to the stomach as well as related to the digestion. In order to relieve this, in order to uh, overcome this indigestion, uh, we are uh, taking some tablets in the form of some chemical, basic chemical that is mainly made up of base that is called as milk of magnesia. Milk of magnesia is taken to relieve what indigestion. It is milk of magnesia. What is that milk of magnesia? It is nothing but magnesium hydroxide. It contains magnesium hydroxide that relieves the uh, indigestion by neutralizing the effect of acid content present in the stomach. This is about indigestion that takes place in the stomach. Uh, that is, uh, stomach releases hydrochloric acid that is neutralized by adding magnesium, milk of magnesium or magnesium hydroxide. Okay, that is nothing but indigestion. It acidic content is secreted more in the stomach. It causes a problem that is called as indigestion. Indigestion means what? Food is not digested properly in the uh, stomach or in the body. That is called as indigestion. Next, second one, uh, we will come across ant bite. No? The ant bite means you know, ants, they will bite. Uh, when the ant bite, they releases uh, one acid into the uh, body, uh, into the skin. That is nothing but a formic acid. Uh, that should be, effect of that ant bite should be uh, neutralized by applying calamine solution or by applying water. So, baking soda. Baking soda means water. It is nothing but sodium bicarbonate. That is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Baking soda is used. Okay. See here, when an ant bites, it injects the acidic liquid that is in the form of formic acid into the skin. The effect of acid is neutralized by rubbing moist baking soda. You have to make moist baking soda and you have to rub on the skin where the ant bites. And there or you can use calamine solution. Calamine is nothing but zinc carbonate. It is mainly made up of zinc carbonate. What it will do is calamine solution neutralize the uh, acid uh, content uh, present by the bite of uh, an ant. That's why uh, when the ant will bite, you have to apply or rub the uh, skin with baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. Or you can use calamine solution that is nothing but water, uh, zinc carbonate. These are the bases used to neutralize the uh, ant bite acid content. Next one very important that is related in the, in the uh, field of agriculture. How this neutralization reaction takes place in the field of agriculture. That is related to the soil treatment. If excessive 
use of chemical fertilizer in the field or in the agricultural field it causes and if the soil will become water acidic when the excess use of fertilizer when the fertilizer more fertilizers are used in the agricultural field in that time what happened a uh, uh, soil will become for acidic as well as uh, that is soil will, uh, reduces the fertility and uh, not to uh, regain the fertility not to enhance the growth of that what you have to do if the soil is having acidic content we have to add the base uh, fertilizers and if it is basic more basic then you have to add acidic content to the soil thereby you can neutralize the acid and base here in soil treatment what happened excess use of chemical fertilizer make soil acidic when soil is acidic it is treated with base like quick lime that is calcium oxide cao calcium oxide or slacker lime that means calcium hydroxide if soil is basic organic matter is added because organic matter releases acid and thereby neutralize the effect of base like that soil can be treated by this method by with the help of neutralization reaction if acidic content is more that your base should be added if basic content is more acid content will be added then that will be neutralized this is in the treatment of soil treatment and next last one that is factory waste in the factory waste also or uh, you will come across some of the acidic content okay factory waste contains acids uh, if they are added to the water bodies it kills some of the aquatic animals and some organism aquatic animals like fish frog and some of the organism that's why what happened they should be neutralized and they should be released into the uh, water bodies it is neutralized by adding water basic substances you have to add basic substances to that then that should be neutralized this is about the neutralization reaction in everyday life first one that is ingestion in sorry indigestion and ant bite and the soil treatment and factory waste if acidic content is more and bases should be added and they should be neutralized if basic content is more and then acids will be added that should be neutralized like this neutralization reaction will takes place in everyday life okay if you have any doubt you can ask this completes your chapter that is um, acid bases and salts if you have any doubt you can ask thank you